Yo, what's going on, y'all? I want to thank you if you're tuning in. I'm your host, Paco. You're listening to Occupy the Media. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give uh, Ginger a call. Get on the line. Hello? Hey, what's going on, Ginger? Hey. Hey, I got you on the air now. So I appreciate you putting up that information. I actually have it in front of me here, and I want to tell everyone that uh, you are Thor. Is that right, T-H-O-R? On, uh, on Ron Paul? Are you, are you Thor on Ron Paul forums, or did somebody else just post No, that? I have actually my, um, I'm Ginger Taylor on the, on the Ron Paul. Um, are you talking about the Ron Paul, um, the Daily Paul? Uh, e- either one. I'm looking at the Ron Paul forums, and I thought I was looking at one you posted, but I guess someone took your information and posted it themselves. It's uh, the That's members. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I have an account on the Ron Paul forums. Okay, okay. Well, I want you to go and let uh, let people know what what new information you got together. What what you think that we should do if if any action that we can take uh, going forward. Well, what I found out was that the guy in the video, um, he's got a kid. He's 22, 23 years old. Um, and I'm assuming that since he graduated from college last year, he was, uh, found an article about him that he was a senior at Notre Dame in the fall of 2010, which means he would have graduated in 2011. Somebody else found out he was an honor roll student. Beyond that, don't know much about him. He's from California. Um, the interesting thing is there's a couple, um, a couple of people involved here. So it was him, uh, who passed out the flyers. Uh, there was another young man named um, <clears throat> um, David Sorensen, who is works in the main house in the House Majority Office, and he's in law school. Um, and from looking at his uh, LinkedIn profile, you know, he was a um, good student, you know, accomplished guy, which is it would be really pitiful because these guys are smart kids. I mean, they're not. You know, they don't seem like punks on paper, but they really don't have a respect for the process and their fellow Republicans who are trying to earnestly, you know, elect the guy that thinks the right guy to elect. Um, the interesting thing about this as well, I mean, one of the other questions I have is the guy who's running the, um, Carl Beckstein, who's running the main campaign, who Charlie would be working for, because Charlie is an employee of Mitt Romney for President Incorporated. Um, we found the FEC, the Federal Elections Commission, Federal Elections Commission um, monthly reports for Mitt Romney Incorporated, for President Incorporated, and it lists um, this young man. His name is Charlie Nedgedly, I believe is how you pronounce it, but I'm not sure. Um, as as an employee, he's been made about three thousand dollars over the last two months, mm-hmm. and um, he's working for the main office, which is Carl Beckstein. So with Carl Beckstein at, in the main campaign, um, coordinating this. Uh, is um, he, uh, he also was involved in Massachusetts too, right? I think somebody posted something up here with Massachusetts. So Bexteen, um is from Massachusetts, and I believe he kind of ran the college Republican group that was over um, like all of the Massachusetts uh, college Republicans groups. Um, so again, a kid, I mean, a kid, I'm 40 something, I call him a kid, um, but has been in a position of responsibility and should know better than this. Um, so, so these guys, the fact that they're doing it makes me think, well, they probably have approval to do this then because these aren't, you know, these aren't, um, people with resumes who look like they would just run out and do stuff, you know, without kind of running this up the flat bowl. Um, they're kind of, they're party guys. Um, so I want to know, you know, I, I just posted another video. Um, I've gotten a ton of, it's too long. I want to send this to people. They won't watch it. Cut it down. So I cut down, like, to, to it's less than three minutes. It's, I just uploaded it to YouTube. I haven't even posted it anywhere yet. Um, but it's on the same More Puppies account on YouTube if people want to go find it. And what, what is this? Um, uh, my, my YouTube account is called More Puppies because, you know, who doesn't want more puppies? <laughs> okay. Um, <and> <laughs> hold on, hold on. To us, uh, just, just like it sounds, right? Just more puppies? Yeah. Because I know so I got you it, 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 And it's uh, the short version of uh, Romney Cheats in Maine. Uh, and there's... So I want to know, you know, is this blessed by the larger Mitt Romney campaign? Um, it would say, certainly if I was running a campaign, the rules that I would set would be, 
no cheating. I know you want to cheat. Certainly that is Dr. Paul's philosophy is, look, we play by the rules, period. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, Mitt now has been caught um, violating elections law in Wisconsin by handing out sandwiches on Election Day to thank people for voting, which is illegal and has been for a very long time. You're not allowed to give presents to voters. That That is, you know... Just completely, everybody, I know that's out of bounds. Everybody knows that's out of bounds. Um, you know, are we dealing with someone who just really doesn't care and will do anything, anything to get elected? Or, you know, and is, and is okay with this kind of cheating? That's what I want to know. Um, I think that they have some to answer for because the cheating in Maine was not a bunch of overzealous mm. Romney supporters. It was done by employees of his. So it's time for him to, you know, start... <laughs> talking, you know, start making some apologies or comments, because if this is happening in lots of different states, you know, happened in Nevada on the same day, yep. um, is this coordinated? Is he responsible for this at the top? Yeah, you know they're going to try to do us some more, but we need to have this information out there and have it said, because, uh, you know, there's already talk going around. They're going to try and challenge uh, the results of Maine. Who knows what they're going to try to do with Nevada. Ben Swan broke it down. I don't know if you saw the new reality check yet, but pretty much by looking at the rules and reading a letter that he would, that somebody was written from the RNC in 2008, all delegates are unbound. So it looks okay. like it's going to be crazy. But we need to make sure that we have this out there so that way if they do try to come back and say, no, no, don't try to call us cheaters. Look at this evidence we got on tape. You, you guys keep saying this mm-hmm. in all these articles I read, but I don't. nobody talks about what Ron Paul supporters did, what exactly, how did they exactly hijack? I mean, give us some evidence, but they can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and at this point, you know, I've kind of done what I can do. I think I've gone about as far as I can go with the information I have um, and packaging it so it's digestible. Um, So I really want to encourage your listeners to watch it, spread it around, send it to your local, especially if you're in Maine, send it to your local um, newspapers and TV stations and and ask for, okay, what what is, you know, is this going to be looked into here? Is this the way... That you know the Republican Party is the Republican Party going to put up with this kind of behavior from candidates? And if it does, why if, then why should it be trusted with the presidency? You know, if we are complaining about Barack Obama and his violation of the rules and his constant violation of the of the Constitution and his abuse of power, then why do we want to put in office someone who has is abusing the tiniest power in like one of the smallest states with four electoral votes? But they're going to come in and have these kids um, cheat and try to deceive, um, you know, earnest Maine voters, at Republicans of their own party. You know, it's, it's such bad faith. And I, you know, and I said this in the video. That's why I got involved in this. I'm tired of the bad faith. I am sick of the cheating. And if we don't stop it in our own party... There's no way we're not stopping it in the country, and it's just going to go on and on and on. And you know what? There's going to be a bunch of other gingers out there that are going to feel the same way. They're going to get fed up with all the cheating. and people that don't even necessarily like Ron Paul or give them a chance. They're going to see what's going on. Some of my friends I talk to, when I send the videos, they're like, man, why are they ignoring him so much? Why are they lying about delicates? I'm like, yeah, ask yourself that. <laughs> like yeah, something's wrong. So they're they're just building Something's more. Wrong. They're just building more and more of us out, and they're just making it. They're just uh getting more people to join on the team. But I know you said that and you, I, you uh, know, I, and I and I don't understand to why the Republican Party is 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 selling out for Romney because what they keep saying is we want somebody who can be Barack Obama. So I took a survey because I was in a conversation with an older guy who was like, no, we've got to be with Romney because he can be uh, it's like, it's like, I don't think you, I have a lot of Democrat friends. I work in health care. I work in disability advocacy. So I have a lot of liberal friends who fight for the rights of the disabled. So I put out a little Facebook poll and said, hey, if you're not a conservative, liberal, independent, socialist, whatever you are, take my little, take my little poll and I ask three questions. If the election were held tomorrow, would you vote for A, Romney over Obama, B, Paul over Obama, or C, you vote for Obama no matter what? I had zero friends that would cross over to the Republican okay, Party. Okay, you want you want to hold it? Romney. Hold on, because we're going to a break. Just hold on for me. Sure. 